for being so patient. Okay, let's listen. I would like to introduce students. Thank you. I know, you're enthralled with the puppy. I want to introduce Dr. Abernathy, who's Executive Director of AAEA, to come up and present Ms. Barker with her award. Well, good afternoon. I'm Richard Abernathy, and I'm Executive Director of Arkansas Association of Educational Administrators. And before we get started, I'd like to introduce a few that that traveled with me to come up here. Mike Mertens, the Assistant Executive Director of AAEA. <laughs> Dr. Larry Smith is the Programs Director of AAEA. <laughs> and we also have a special board member uh, who's here, Stephanie Anderson from AAMLA Board. The best part of my job is when I get to go around the state and recognize the work of quality school administrators. And we have been uh, traveling several different places, but here uh, it is my very distinct honor to be able to recognize the 2019 Arkansas Secondary School Assistant Principal for the entire state of Arkansas, your very own Miss Barker. <laughs> could talk a long time, but we actually have some experts up here that I'm going to leave to, uh, to tell you the real story. But before, uh, when I was looking at the applications, of course these applications, how you do homework, they get nominated from a variety of different people, but then they have a significant paperwork that they have to fill out, much like a homework assignment that you have to do. And then that homework assignment is graded by a bunch of board members. Uh, who compare them to each other, and then they finally select who is going to be who will represent the state of Arkansas. But one of the quotes that really stuck out with me was by this young lady back here in the back, Rosie, who many of you know. So I'm just going to read what she wrote. Things that the other students and I appreciate about our beautiful assistant principal is her dedication to the school, the students, and the staff. She always has a smile on her face and puts a smile on everyone else's face. I'm forever thankful and grateful for Miss Barker and what she does. Her door is always open and she fixes problems that day. I think that is a remarkable statement by a young lady. So Miss Barker, it is my distinguished pleasure to, to present you this plaque of the 2019 Arkansas Secondary School Principal, Assistant Principal of the Year for the entire state of Arkansas. Congratulations. Now I would like to introduce Rosie Debram to come to the uh, microphone. Mrs. Barker is the most caring and lovable principal I've ever met. She's also a great listener and always helps our student in need. Her door is always open whenever someone needs an adult to talk to. On game days, she stays after school to make sure our events run smoothly and also make sure our students get home safe and sound, no matter how late that might be. She provides support to all students, but most importantly, she really does love and care for us. And for that, I really am forever thankful and grateful for you, Mrs. Barker, and I really do adore you and you and do for what you do for our school. We are so lucky to have you at George. Thank you. Jim 
This is quite a view, isn't it? <laughs> We're very proud of each of you, that's for sure. That's why Ms. Barker, Ms. Eads, this wonderful staff, do their work every day, is to lead each of you and help you to understand more and more about the great potential and promise that you have. Ms. Barker, thank you for representing our kids, our staff, George Junior High, the Springdale School District so well. We are so proud of you. Please give her a hand one more time. You do that for me. I know Ms. Barker's family is here with her. I know how proud they are of her as well. Please welcome Ms. Barker's family. Will you do that with your applause? And I know we have a very special family member that you're going to give us more information about in just a moment, right? These gentlemen who are here with us today, we've been so fortunate over the years. They've made this trip a number of times. Dr. Abernathy, Mr. Mertens, Dr. Smith, thank you for being here today. I want you to know that in so many ways, these gentlemen are the voice of education in our state. As Dr. Abernathy said, they're in events like this around the state, but in addition to that, they bring teachers and administrators and school board members and parents together to talk about how to improve the schools of the state. And for them to be here today is a very honor for us. Thank this group one more time. Will you do that for me? Ms. Barker, on behalf of a grateful student body and staff, please know how we, how really excited we are to see you recognized this way. It touches all of us. It inspires all of us. That's for sure. Would you agree, students, that she makes all of us better? Yeah. Would you agree, teachers, she makes all of us better? Yeah. Well, you do make us all better. You're a champion for these young people. You're a champion for our teachers. You're a champion for our professional growth. So when I say you make us all better, that's what we mean. Many of you know these things already. She's a mentor for many of our teachers who are pursuing their national board certification. She's a supporter of every teacher in the building and really of teachers across the district who are serving our English language learners. She helped launch the, the Learning Academy, the Language Academy here at George Jr. and was a keynote leader in terms of that work around the district. She is a difference maker for good. And again, Elizabeth, you make us all better. I've heard some great stories about Ms. Barker, and I expect many of you could tell even more. But I understand she's quite a rap artist. Have y'all heard that? <laughs> how, how many of you remember the great performances of Hamilton that have taken place in this building just in the last several months? Do y'all remember that? She helped those kids make memories that really would last a lifetime. And talking with one of them said, she really is good. <laughs> she really, she really is a rapper, that's for sure. But those kids just perform magnificently. And all of us still enjoy that and think about it. And I just think, Elizabeth, of, of the memories that they will take forward from that performance as they go on into high school and college and beyond. She helped make that flawless, and we all remember that, and thank you for it. Ms. Eads tells me that there's not an element of the school that Ms. Barker hasn't touched. Whether it be curriculum or special events or training sessions for all of us, 
she's right in the middle of it. For all of that, Betsy, we say thank you. And again, please know how proud we are of you today. One more time. Thank you very much. Well, students, as much as we hate to, I know you like sitting out here. I'm going to dismiss you and your teachers shortly, so just wait one more second. Distinguished guests that are here to celebrate with Ms. Barker, if you would like to go ahead and make your way to the library, um, either side, go around. We would like to ask you to come for a reception, so you can go ahead and head that direction. I'll let you get out before the storm. You all go ahead. You all go ahead. Yes. Thank you.